Alright guys, we've reached the final level in this Natus series. So get excited. So this is the Natus 33. So here they are saying, can you get it right? Upload firmware update. Hmm, no file chosen. So let's choose any file. Okay, so let's go to desktop Natus 30 any file and let's see what happens it is saying the update has been uploaded to this particular location and firmware upgrade initialized failure md5 some mismatch okay so it is going to check with some md5 sum hmm, that's interesting so we cannot assume any value here okay so we need to carefully select the md5 sum okay so we cannot do it normally let's see the source code all right here we have html code and here we have php until here and then some html and then some php looks like we have some object oriented programming here okay and as you can see we have some signature here and where is this signature being checked okay so here it is being checked okay so whatever file we are uploading it is going through a md5 hash and then it is checked with the signature if the signature matches only then we are giving this uh, congratulations on running firm update and then this file okay and then what's gonna happen is we are going through a pass through function which will execute a command okay php and then run this file using php if it doesn't match we are going to simply just say md5 mismatch so which is this one okay so this is a peculiar case where we need to use uh, php archives okay something called far so it looks something like this okay so this is php archives okay so what this php archive does is it can run the files using a particular archive and then execute some objects okay so this is very close to deserialization okay so what this does is it creates an object here okay and then once the object is created it is being archived into a php archive file okay so let's say object creation and then from here we need to create a php archive file and what this archive file contains is this object okay so we need to carefully create this object and uh, create this php archive and we send this one and once it reaches there we use php archive protocol okay so which looks something like http okay so it's like http colon slash slash and our url okay so this url is specific to the web root okay so wherever the web root exists this particular url exists so we can directly run that particular archive file directly using this far protocol okay so let's get into it so what we need to do is we need to just explore this one a little bit so we are creating this uh, class right so is it being used anywhere okay so it is being called here hmm interesting so if we create an object with a similar executor class so what it is going to do is it is going to go through all of this and it is going to run this particular executor class okay so what we will do is we'll just copy this one okay so we don't need to copy everything so let's copy this one and let's create a php file okay so let's create natus 33.php and here we go so we need to just remove all the comments we don't need that and uh, let's select everything let's bring back to this particular indentation okay let's minimize this okay we don't need this one as of now and what is this file name what should we keep here 
so the file name we should keep is the one we will access again okay so we are going to create another file which is called uh, hm cyber academy dot php so this is the file that we are going to create so we will call this file again okay and this particular signature so what we are going to keep is just true okay so even when it goes to this particular line okay and it is going to check this particular thing so it is going to return true and this is also going to return true okay so it is going to check and the whole thing will become true and then we will get this one okay so that's why we need this particular signature so that's all we need to close this class okay so let's uh, close this right here okay so the class is complete okay so what we need to do now is uh, create in archive file using some parameters okay so first of all what we need is we need a variable okay something like a far okay which is equals to new far okay so what this will do is this will create a far file called uh, anything we can just keep uh, natus dot far okay so we can keep anything like this this is the php archive file that we are creating okay so we need this right so next thing what we need to do is we need to start buffering okay so to start buffering we need to create something like start buffering so what this will do it it will start uh, this file it will create a buffer and then it will put some data into it okay so what we need to do is we need to create any dummy file okay something like uh, uh, test.txt or something like that so what we will do is we will add that from string okay so we will add that particular test.txt okay so this is a text format so what we will do is we'll just create text so this is a text file okay and then we will close this so this is a dummy file so this, we are going to add something to it add something to this one so once this is done we need to stop the compiler so what for that what we need to do is we need to say for set stop and here what we need to do is we need to stop the compiler so we will use php code into it so something like uh, php and then underscore underscore halt underscore compiler so this is one of the standard functions okay and then let's close this so this will stop the compiler okay so initially this will start running this okay and then it will create a buffer and then add some text some dummy text okay and then it stop the compiler okay so this is what till now we did okay now what we need to do is we need to create some object using this okay so let's create that object so object looks something like this okay equals to new executor okay so this is the object and in the next line what we need to do is we need to select this object and uh, add some data into it so something like uh, rips okay and then once it is done so we need to take back that far okay which is this one okay and then assign the metadata okay set metadata of this particular object okay so once this is done we need to stop the buffering here okay so we have started the buffering here okay and we are stopping the buffer here stop buffering and that's all we need to do and then we close this particular php file okay so the second thing we need to do is we need to keep this file right so we need to create a file that's name is hmcyberacademy.php okay so let's create this file okay and in this file 
we need to get the NATS34 password, okay? So how to get that? So let's give a PHP and we can just echo shell exec, okay? And here we need to give the shell command, which is cat slash etc slash natus underscore web pass and then natus 34 okay and here we enclose this with this one and uh, let's save this so our shell command is ready and uh, this one is ready okay so by using this what we need to do is we need to create a far file okay so this one so this one we need to create so for that we need, we need to use uh, <coughs> php okay and uh, hyphen d so this hyphen d actually takes this particular thing and assigns a false value so if it is not set then this far file is not going to be run okay so here we set that and then we run this natus 33 php file okay so watch closely okay a new file will be created here okay so let's hit enter okay we have natus.far file so let's try file natus.far okay so this is just a data so you cannot actually read it so this is an archive file and you cannot read it so it is something like a binary file right now okay so what we need to do is we will upload this file and this file and then use for protocol to run this file okay so simple so let's go here let's go here let's choose this file which is natus 33 hmcyberacademy.php select and before you upload you need to intercept this because it is creating a weird file name okay so we don't want this we want hmcyberacademy.php so let's go to proxy let's go to intercept and then hit upload okay here we have it let's scroll down this is the file name okay so you have to remove it and keep hmcyberacademy.php so once this is done you can just simply forward it and then stop the intercept so what it says is this is the file we have it here okay so so this one is not actually the web root so it is actually the whole directory actually like this is the root directory and in root directory there is a directory here and then upload and then this one so it is not the web web root but it is something else so we don't know so we cannot access this file and then the next thing what we need to do is you need to choose file and uh, let's go to the same location natus 33 natus.far so we need to upload this one right now so let's click select and let's uh, intercept this okay file upload and send it to repeater because we are going to use it again but here you need to change the name to natus dot far okay so this is what you need to keep so this is the file name actual file name okay so let's forward it and let's intercept off okay so this is done and as you can see here the file has been uploaded here okay successful next what we need to do is let's go here let's scroll down so this time we need to use a far protocol okay so php rk protocol and in this particular protocol you need to call the natus.far file okay so this is the file you are calling and uh, you also know that you have kept test.txt right so this one so where is it so this one so this is the one you know right so you are going to call this one okay so once you call this so what is going to happen is the whole thing is going to start executing and once it reaches this executor object 
so it is going to go through this hm cyber academy dot php and it is going to run this and once it sees the signature equals to 2 it is going to check the signature okay this one and then it is going to say congratulations for firm update and then it is going to run this file okay all right so let's see if it works let's go to burp suite and let's run it and let's scroll through this and we have something like errors here okay some warnings okay and uh, let's scroll down a bit and as you can see congratulations running form update hmcyberacademy.php so it is running this okay and then we got our solution here right so let's show response in browser because saying the output in browser seems legit okay so here we have it okay all right we have successfully completed nato series i hope you enjoyed this series and i'll see you guys in the next one peace